Hey, what's up, guys? It's Beto here, and I just want to say a huge thank you to the people who I interviewed while I was out in Amsterdam. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to the accordion man who was in front of the Vermeer. Um, that was crazy, uh, and he was such a nice guy. Uh, shoot, a huge shout out to the guys I met at the Heineken Experience in Amsterdam, and then ended up randomly finding them in the red light district and interviewing them, uh, Darmilo and Max. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to the guys who I met in front of the coffee shop. Uh, I saw, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I see uh, Nosi and Novi. They're these two uh, boys from Germany, and they were just there for a couple of days. Uh, celebrating a birthday, I believe. Um, big shout out to David from Ukraine. He's a Ukrainian refugee who I found also um, on the street with two pillows. I took an amazing picture of him. A uh, shout out to him. I'm, I'm wishing the best for him and many blessings to him and his family. Shout out to the people who actually gave me the confidence to make this possible and were actually the first people uh, I interviewed uh, with this kind of um, setting, and that is to Hugo, Jet, and uh, Shauna. Um, you guys, you three are incredible and gave me so much confidence to keep doing what I do, so thank you so much. Um, and then finally, big shout out to the best coffee shop in Amsterdam, Tony Balboa and the Balboa family coffee shop. Uh, all you guys uh, made me feel so at home and were so nice to me. And, you know, I went there three days in a row and um, I'm so sorry I didn't get to catch you guys the last day to say goodbye, but I'm hopefully this uh, podcast, you know, shines a light on the incredible people that all you, all you people are. Um, not only at the Baboa family, but everybody who was on the podcast as well. Um, please take a second to like, subscribe. Um, if you want to see the pictures and it, uh, and um, and everything, it will be up on my YouTube, also on my Instagram at Aocho Podcast on all platforms. Thank you so much again, and uh, much love always. Enjoy the podcast. I took a picture of this accordion man. And uh, I'm gonna walk to him again. And I'm gonna just be like, bro, because I took a Polaroid of him and I wanna see how it come out. So I'll take a picture of it. And then, you know, I'm glad we crossed paths again. Um, sorry. So anyway, I'm walking into the Vermeer and then out the Vermeer. And I'm gonna see this guy. Now I'm walking out the Vermeer. I walked in and out. It's a beautiful sunny day. It's a little cold. It's like a little chilly, a little brisk. Um, out here in Amsterdam. I'm gonna tip this guy, cause I feel like that's the only way he'll talk to me. <laughs> I don't think that, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what to think of people, bro. But I got some change here. I got some euros and shit. I was like buying shit in this market, bought that fish sandwich. If y'all were catching up on me with that. If not, it's cool, it's cool. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, you had to be there. <laughs> and it's funny that I say that because I feel like it's like you had to be there, like Instagram story. I guess that's what makes the 24 hour thing kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna give this guy like two euros. Is that cool? Is that cheap, guys? I don't know. I don't have a lot on me, so it's what I've... I think I was playing this before. All right, I'm gonna ask him if he remembers me. Picture? Can I see it? Can I can I see the picture? Uh, I like. No, it's okay. uh, I'm from the U.S. New Jersey. Where? New Jersey. New Jersey. It's a uh, USA. You like the you like the picture? Yeah. Can, can I can I take a picture of the picture? Okay. Perfect. Thank you. 
Jersey. New Jersey. Where, where, where are you from? Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yes. I just, in the United States, I, I bought a car and, um, and uh, he was Bulgarian. The guy who sold it to me was Bulgarian. Ah, uh, he's from Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah, he sells cars. I bought, I bought a car from him. It was really cool, it was really cool. How long have you been doing, playing music? My English is better. I a little bit English. A little bit English. Um, how much time? Time? I play... Instrument. Here, there, the crowd, it's all there, all there. Uh, I play, I play too, but not this. What you play? Uh, euphonium. What? Euphonium. What is it? It's, it's like tuba? Tuba, ah. Uh -huh. Smaller. Uh -huh. Trumpet? S smaller. Tuba. And uh -huh. opera. Opera, oh, cool. A little bit of opera. Bravo. My friend, thank you so much. Take care. Nice to meet you. Yo, sometimes I feel like <laughs> I'll be switching into a whole other shit when I'm talking to my people, bro. About my people, I just mean minorities, bro. Because, you know, we be chilling in New Jersey and... I think we all know which towns got a lot of people and which towns don't, you know? Oh, man, dude. Now I'm chilling. Now I'm chilling, bro. That was so sweet. And now that's... Okay, so this is going to be the real, right? Or this is going to be the podcast. This is exactly. I'm just, like, recording what's going on right now on my solo travels, whatever the fuck, and what I do. <laughs> and I took the picture, and then when I'm talking about the picture, that's when the picture's going to be up. So that's what make people stay for the podcast and watch it, even on YouTube, you know? Because they'll be watching the uh, captions and stuff that I put up. But then, uh, <laughs> you know, it, they'll also see a picture too. And the listeners, I don't know what I'm going to do about the listeners. Because I'm thinking about what I'm going to put up as the JPEG for the Spotify. And I feel like giving away that picture would be the thing. Maybe there'll be multiple pictures for the story. And then the picture that will be on the podcast will still be a Polaroid. So then, oh, that would be dope. Because I could have the podcast Polaroids and then those Polaroids. And then people could click on different Polaroids to see different people's stories. To see whether if it was a podcast or if it was actually just, a, you know, something... You know, like, I, I, I wanted my adventures, little adventures alone. I don't know. But this is really dope. I think it's dope talking to people. Bulgaria, he's playing the accordion in front of the Vermeer in Amsterdam on, what is it, April 2nd? Oh, dude, and it's crazy, dude. Let me describe the scenery for you real quick. So, I'm in the Vermeer, and the middle... I guess it's supposed to be like a walking area, but it looks like the middle is a little flooded. Or if it's supposed to be like a, like a fountain, then it's just wild right now. Cause it's, but they just got into their spring, summer season, whatever. They have signs up, some signs up that say summer soon. And uh, this guy's playing an accordion in front of it. I'm standing right next to the pool on the left-hand side. I'm standing by the one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth? One, two, three, four, four. Five between the fifth and the sixth tree on the left hand side if you're looking at the Vermeer the left hand side of this freaking fountain pool whatever it is there's a bunch of plants in it stone plants in it and like it has tulips tulips is the is the flower of Amsterdam apparently I didn't know that that's dope they have a museum I went in there for a second and uh, yeah dude it's just beautiful sun setting and it's crazy because the sun setting right like to the right behind the Moco Museum that means burger in Spanish or uh, and uh, in between that and the Van Gogh Museum so and the uh, moon is actually coming up you can actually see the moon it's actually uh, quite the sight to see dude I'm actually probably gonna take my camera and take a couple pictures so I'm about to end this but thank you guys for following along on the journey I hope you uh, liked it I hope you could uh, visualize what I'm seeing because I mean you just gotta look up a picture of the Vermeer bro and then like it's like this beautiful almost looks like a castle bro i don't know it's dope though <laughs> it looks like a castle bro it looks like an english i got this nice little entrance in between and people go bike in the roads like you know there's no cars around like people just walking or biking 
there's lots of people here, man. There's some people chilling on the fountain. There's some people who chill like inside of it, and like they're close to the water, but they're not in the water. But they're chilling, chilling in the sun. So we got the purses. Everybody snuggled up wearing a scarf, yo. Everybody snuggled up wearing a scarf. This person's walking through the fountain on their phone. I don't know what the hell they're doing. They got friends over here. He was just walking through, yo. It's very beautiful. And then right behind the view that I'm looking that was behind me and not towards the mirror, it's just giant green park and people just laying in the sun. It's and it's cold. It's not it's not it's not it's not like oh my god, like let's let's lay in the sun type weather. Like I think people would be wild if they're doing this in Jersey in this cold. Like I've seen people do it in like colder weather, but like nah, this is kind of wild. But I could see how you could have just enjoyed and sit. I mean, I was even just sitting here and enjoying a beer before. And behind behind that. It says, it's just some big building. <laughs> it looks, I know, I know, I'm so descriptive, right? Um, <laughs> it's just some big building that, like, looks like a Roman, not Roman, but you know how to have those, um, like that thing in Washington, D.C., like the White House, you know, they got the pillars, you know, I think they're Roman-looking pillars. Yeah, I think so. But, yeah, and it's, like, have that. It's, like, that on the inside and then, like, a little castle on the outside. And I think, I'm, I'm thinking, not, I'm not even thinking, like, medieval castle. I'm thinking, like, fancy Queen Elizabeth-type castle. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know castles like that. My bad, fellas. And everybody else. God damn. But, yeah, it's a beautiful sight to see. All right, I know I was ending it before. But now I'm ending it. Now I'm going to take a couple pictures, and that's what I'll put on for the YouTube video. While you were watching this, I hope I put up the pictures that I I, I took. Because I don't want this to be too much video. Maybe there'll be a mixture of the 360 video. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe I just found out what the fuck I'm going to be doing. All right, damn. Keep the cursing down, bro. Jesus. It's a family show. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely not a family show, but you could definitely watch it with your family because I think like by the time y'all actually chill with your parents to the point where y'all could just do shit and not judge, <laughs> you know, that's a great. Not everybody gets that. I'm very fortunate, but you know, I don't know if my family will go ahead and do that because they just think I'm stupid sometimes. And if they once they hear this, they're gonna definitely think they're gonna mess something wrong with this fella. <laughs> oh man, I yo. Uh, this has been AO Chill. All right, y'all. Uh, there goes the, the little trip. Anyway, all right, all right. this has been AO Chill. Bye. Tell you. Excuse me, you guys don't speak uh, any English? Yeah, what? Uh, I was just going to ask real quick if you guys wanted a Polaroid. Oh, no, thank you. You guys good? No, you. It's for free. It's my no, no, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Well, they were fighting. <laughs> so that was, that's trippy. Excuse me, guys, do you guys uh, speak any English? Yes. Um, I'm a photographer and podcaster from the US. I take random Polaroids of people and I give them a quick interview while like, the Polaroid's uh, developing. You guys want a free Polaroid? Or yes, of course. Yeah, that's cool. You could do it however you like. You could do it however you like. This is your guys' photo to keep. So you guys are gonna have to squeeze in together. You guys are gonna squeeze, squeeze together. Are you ready? You tell me one. Okay, three, two, one. You could write the date on the top, mm -hmm. and then your name's on the bottom, mm -hmm. and then I'll just ask you guys a, a few questions. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll just start with your names one by one. Okay? Is that cool? Yes. Okay. Your name? My name is Hugo. Yet, Shona. It's very nice to meet you guys. What brings you guys to Amsterdam? Uh, I live here in Amsterdam. Okay. Yes, me too. Yes, me living? too. Which? Uh, what do you guys do for like work, or what are you guys studying? Um, I'm still in school, uh, I uh, grade or something, in the third of MAFO. Okay. Yes, I'm also in the same school, IFCO, and uh, that's all. I don't okay. do any work. Yeah, we go all, yeah, so we all go to the same school, uh, and for work, I work at a restaurant. So, a quick question, what do you guys think is the most annoying thing about tourists that come to Amsterdam? Um... That they're standing in my way, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, when I bike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 
on the bike actually yeah. mm-hmm. only that I think I don't really mind the tourists or anything no. okay mm-hmm. what is something that you think people get misconceptions about when they think about Amsterdam um, that uh, wheat is uh, du- uh, is, is uh, du- expensive expensive <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm, look, we don't all smoke weed, but a lot of us do, so it's, yeah, people think it's all about the weed, and some people don't think it's all about weed, but it kind of is, it kind of is. What is your favorite thing about Amsterdam that you think people don't actually know about, or two people, like, few care to even, like, find out about? What's what's gezellig? Uh, The beautiful city, and, uh... The nice place where and then the, uh, the nice places where you could go. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the neighborhoods are really uh, connected. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> yeah. So it's always a much. It's like a well, it's more like of a European culture, but like if you're from the US, you notice like things like that they dress differently or how like they go to parties and stuff mm-hmm. the culture is really different here which i really like because sometimes you do start younger with things but it's like really free a lot of people can do what they want and i think you don't always think about that when you think of amsterdam but mm-hmm. yeah something like that all right i got one more question for you guys what's the first thing that comes into your mind be honest when you hear like somebody from america or the united states Um, <laughs> what, you, what, oh, what? But, um, but wait, one more time. What do you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about people from the United States? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about people from the United States? That's your always one. Um, uh, a lot of famous people there, and uh, <laughs> and uh, they're eating a lot of junk food like uh, Burger King and McDonald's <laughs> and milkshakes <laughs> and milkshakes. Anything? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think so, but I think a lot of people do think they're kind of dumb. Uh-huh. Like, it's the main thing. Like, I, it's not always like that, but uh-huh. I think people do tend to think that people are more dumb there uh-huh. or something. I'm not saying that it is like that. I think it's yeah. hilarious. But I think pe- some pe- a lot of people here think that, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think it was maybe, like, two times I've gone where I hear, like, Silly American. Like, I hear, like, I went on the Heineken Experience Tour, and they're like, silly Americans. And I was like, <laughs> all right, whatever the fuck. I'm also Peruvian, so I also don't give a fuck. So. <laughs> but guys, thank you. Can I see the picture real quick? Yes, of course. I forgot, I didn't, forgot to put a date. I have to put a date. It's so like, just write the date on the top. I'm going to take a picture of this real quick, and then that's it. You guys keep that. Thank you. So I'm currently walking in the red light district. And from what I've heard from all the locals is that there's no locals here. <laughs> that uh, this place is very much how, uh, I don't know, you could say Times Square is to everybody else who lives like near it within a, within a 30 minute radius of New York. But uh, I'm looking for some uh, potential people. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for when I look for these people. It's just uh, kind of based on vibes and what they might say, and also if they speak English because I won't be able to translate what they say and ask good questions, so. But I felt like the first one uh, went okay. Shout out to the three that uh, came on that pod because that was actually really fun, and uh, they were really cool. I feel bad because they were token, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah. But right now I'm making a left. I'm by this place called uh, Casino City in the red light, so. Lots of sketchy people, though. Lots of sketchy people. I think it's just sketchy, like, tourists, but, like, also, like, just wild and, like, you know, I'm some, I'm some New York shit. But, yeah. Um, I'm gonna check back in when I find my next victim. I'll be back. I'm getting the feeling more and more that red light is not the, uh, the place for this. Believe it or not, the place that I went before... Uh, it was less like this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe these two would want to do an interview real quick. I'm looking at this couple. Hmm. They look like they're smoking, though. 
don't know if they they appreciate it. Or maybe it would. I don't know. Hello. You guys doing? You guys speak English? Yes. Would you like a free picture? Like it's not. It's not. I I do podcasts and interviews on the internet, and uh, I give you a free picture while it's developing. I interview you real quick. That's it. No, thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's okay. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Another failed one, but uh, I think that maybe came off sketchy. Maybe I should show them what's on my phone. That's what I gotta do. I gotta show them on my phone. All right. That's an example of a failed attempt and you learning from shit. Cause, <laughs> yo, I'm nervous when I do this shit too, bro. And it would have been such a beautiful picture. It would have been such a beautiful picture. Um, if you're the two who are standing in front of that bar, odds are you're never gonna hear this or see this. And also, I only saw you guys, but uh, I was a guy in like a bike jacket and the girls wearing something fresh as hell too. The style here is incredible, so. But anyway, I'll catch you back when uh, I find my next victim. That was a real life encounter of a fail. Congrats to me. I don't know my thought process yet behind it, like how to approach. I'm thinking this is going to be my approach now. Be like, hey, would you like a free podcast? Five minutes comes with a free picture. And if you say no, then, then, uh, you guys want to be on it? It comes with a free picture? Free picture, five minutes, that's it. You good? Okay, you want a free picture anyway? It's, it's a Polaroid. It's a Polaroid. For free? I'll give it to you anyway, for free. You get to keep it, it is free, it's free. And then every time you look at it, you'll be like, look, the silly American came up to me and he's like, what the fuck? No, no, it's all right, yeah? it's all right. Okay. Cool. I'm from the, uh, New Jersey. Okay, guys, get together, get together. All ready? Three, two, one. And you guys don't want the interview, right? Huh? No interview? Nah. No nah. interview. Here you go, Kelsey. Thank you, bro. Have a great one, it's guys. Nice. Take care. Have a good day, bro. You too. I don't know why I get into an accent whenever I talk to people, bro. Uh, man. But it's funny. See, I'm very blunt and forward with it, you know? And sometimes that's the vibe and sometimes that's not the vibe, but... You gotta, you gotta just play it out, honestly. You can't have no fear when you're doing this shit. Just, if rejection's rejection, whatever. I mean, that's easier said than done with people than I think I have with <laughs> luck with the ladies. <laughs> oh, man. But that was cool. They got a free picture, and like I said, I think that's, that's the key now, too. Like, it has to come from the heart, and I have to be willing to give, even though... I don't receive, you know? Because they're gonna keep that picture forever and they're always gonna remember the time that they were in Amsterdam having that. So that's really cool. Um, so I'm walking on the, the, I think the rightmost side of the red light. Uh, a lot of district, uh, a lot of uh, districts, a lot of restaurants here. Like this is the, the Burkade Suster is a restaurant I'm next to, which is right next to the Green Place coffee shop. All the coffee shops here are weed shops, so it's pretty dope. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just looking for my next victim at this point. Uh, you know, it's hard to pick up on vibes here because I don't know who the hell is chill and who's not. Like, some people, like, are chill, like, after. Like, those guys before, like, you heard him moan, right? I don't know if you could hear that back in the thing, but right before I, I went to back him, I was like, would you like an interview? And he's like, ah, oh, nah. <laughs> he's like, I got this guy. And he was actually really cheerful after it. He was just like, ah, oh, nah, 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 dude, do, do your thing, do your thing. So I gave him a free picture and that's it. You know, it comes from the heart. It's like, I'd rather give you a picture and have no interview than have no interaction with you at all. Like, I want to give you something. Like, let me just give you love. In this case, my Polaroids are uh, an example of my love, I guess you could call it. I travel the world. I do random interviews with people. I think your position is very nice. You get a free picture and it takes five minutes. You want to do the interview? No, maybe. Yeah? What do you want to put? What, what are your questions? I'm just going to ask questions about Amsterdam and life. It takes five minutes. Okay. And you get free picture. Like you you want to go how you were laying before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ready? In three, two, one. While this is developing. You put your, you put your, 
your the date. Okay. And then your name here. Okay. 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 And then while you're doing this, I'm gonna ask you questions. Okay. Okay. Hi, my friend. Uh, today. The date. Yes. Today. <laughs> Four. Four. From uh, this month. Just be careful because you're writing on the picture, but it's okay. Okay. Just keep it. Keep my it. name. Yes, but only here on the bottom. Oh, okay. On that white part on the bottom, yes. Perfect. Okay, my friend, we're gonna start, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, what is your name and where are you from? My name is David, I'm from uh, in Ukraine. You're from Ukraine? I'm from Ukraine, born in Ukraine. Uh, also, uh, I'm gypsy. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. A lot of lot of uh, gypsy here in the world, you know, no Amsterdam best in the best. You know? That's that's very nice. Do you do you, you like the, the gypsy king, the fighter? Uh, no, no, I'm 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 fighting the books. No. <laughs> you you yeah, fight too? Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. So, so what brings you from Ukraine? I know everything's going on over there. Refugee here. You're refugee here, here really, okay. because uh, I want to say, uh, save my uh, family, you know, and bring my family in Amsterdam. No, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, smoke weed, you know, freedom, and this, uh, <laughs> this <Yeah>. is <laughs> about Amsterdam, you know, my friend. Yeah. Um, so, um, Amsterdam best for the young people. For the, doesn't matter, this rich country, young country, you know, very nice uh, country. You no, know, you. Not smoke too much. <laughs> so, what's what's the best part about living in Amsterdam? Uh, living in Amsterdam, uh, okay, you know, best background. What what is the best thing? Your favorite thing besides you know, the weed and the women? Uh, um, can I? I'm not uh, this question. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll try. We'll try another one. Okay. We'll try. Well, because my uh, my English not so very well. Okay. You know, I'm only what, one uh, only one year practicing English. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay perfect. Amsterdam, I'm told you, very good, very nice. Um, you know, just good people, good people, Dutch people, very nice people. You know, in the best uh, in the no like like no uh, if you you know Italian people, if you go Italian people, mm -hmm. uh, people not want a. Uh, uh, English, uh, to, uh, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah, no. He, he, here, people uh, want uh, Dutch uh, speak. You know, no. This is like English, like tourist people. You know, no. You, you know, too much tourist, little tired, uh, like, little tired uh, Holland people. Every, everywhere, well. <laughs> this everything. You, you look very happy. Yeah. What, 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 what is your secret? Oh no, I'm not very happy, bro. I'm not very happy because uh, live now last time, you know, live in the heart, you know, difficult. Uh, it need uh, 50 problem in my life, really. Like you, like me, you know. Uh, no, I'm do, uh, uh, I'm do in a, in the world, you know, uh, online, my business. Yeah, online. But uh, now everything online, you know, money good online. Of course. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you, I, I'm do target, target, you know, mm -hmm. target. This uh, target from uh, Facebook, Instagram. This very good idea, bro. Yeah. Um, if you, if you need customers, I bring you. Yeah, this no problem. Yeah. If you have one message for the world, what is the message? Mm, okay. Uh, love, winner. Love. This is power. Love. If you uh, love your work, your life, your uh, people who live in together, you know, your life best, you know, uh, you, people need f uh, feel it, uh, you know, love. Doesn't matter uh, where, you know, love. Love and, and, uh, and God. This is too power, my friend, too power. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. have a nice, uh, have a nice uh, life for you, brother. Uh, this is people do for you good, uh, good video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is people uh, very nice. Uh, my English not so good. No, I'm give you my head. Uh, of course, uh, of course. Respect Inside. for you, bro. Of course, thank you. Much respect. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you man. Yeah, this is... That would went pretty good. <laughs> that one went pretty good. That's probably like one of the best ones so far. <laughs> uh, I'm really, 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 really happy with that one. Um, he was really cool. I thought it was a really cool picture of him just laying down there. And uh, yeah, there we go, guys. So another one in the in the pocket. If I could get eight more of these, then I'll be happy. I'll be so freaking happy. So I'm gonna keep walking around. I'm kind of walking in a direction now that I've never been. So, 
I guess we'll just keep on adventuring. This is the Amsterdam AOCHO podcast. So a couple things that I've noticed that it looks like I'm going to have better luck when I'm in the places that have less traffic and it's more calm. I mean, like, there's a couple of people I see, but, you know, like, I don't know. I'm really just going by my, my heart, my intuition to, for what people are going to say yes and if they're going to be a vibe or not because, you know, I just really want to check. But it looks like I'm going to have luck more in the outskirts, but also I feel like the outskirts make you look mad sketch. So that's the problem. And I'm wearing, like, if y'all want to know what I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing my black um, down jacket. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I'm wearing some Columbia pants. And uh, I have my blue backpack on with my Adidas bag to my right, holding a Polaroid and then holding my phone mic tore up to my mouth. So that's a thing. Oh, man. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, like, some of your fans just look mad stoic. Like, I don't even know how to approach and be like, yo, what's good? Oh, oh, wait, no, I'm not by my boys. I thought I was by my boys for a second, but they're down uh, in the place that starts with an R. Forgot I'm in a red light. But I technically could walk to them. Maybe I'll go walk to them and give them a small interview. That would be smart. I think I might do that. All right, BRB, gonna think about it. And we'll see if we'll walk there. Because if not, I'll deadass will walk my whole ass there. And it should be like a good mile, two mile walk. So we'll see. Because red light is feeling whack. All right, guys. Update. I've made the decision to walk all the way to my boys. About a 15-minute walk. It's crazy. Think about it. I could take the transit, right? But it's an 11-minute transit, 15-minute walk. It's like, why wouldn't I just walk? Get my, you know, steps in and whatever. But, uh... Now I'm in like more of a like side street. So I guess this is a little bit better for uh, what it is. So I guess we'll just kind of walk around here and then figure it out. Um, are a couple people here though, looking like they could be potential people. <laughs> the thing is, sometimes I see couples talking and I'm just like, damn, I wanna talk to them. But <laughs> like the first people, as soon as I went up to them, I think y'all heard it. I was like, damn, <laughs> they're fighting. And they're like, no, 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 thank you. That's crazy. Anyway, so I'm walking straight down the street, and uh, we'll figure it out from here. All right, guys, I'll talk to you when something comes up. I'm turning this on just in case. Looks like I have some potential people here, but I can't tell how they are. I don't know. There's always some people sitting on a bench. They don't look that interesting, though. I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> My intuition told me no, but... We keep carrying on. This guy's on the phone over here. If, if not, I would have asked him, but he looks like he's on the phone too. And he's laughing, so he's having a good time. I guess that's all that matters. Uh, gotta check my Google real quick, because I have no idea what I did. I almost fucking tore my ACL again right there. Give me one second. I don't know where I am. Okay, it tells me to stick to this street, go across and whatever. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, periodically, I'm gonna turn this on and uh, I'll check in whenever I see a potential person because the thing is, is like, I have to keep this rolling while I open up my Instagram so I can try and catch the entire moment. Um, I'm not quite sure if these are gonna be edited or unedited yet. Maybe I'll edit this one and then the full unedited version will probably go like behind a paywall or something. And I'll just pick the best of the best and then the raw will stay raw, you know? So that way, you know, maybe I can make a few bucks back uh, to whatever I'm doing here. I don't, no idea. But uh, all right guys, much love always. I'll check back with y'all in a sec. Dude, I keep fucking forgetting to show people what I do and it's pissing me the fuck off. Uh, had these two people from the UK just turn me down because she was like, I don't know, I'm high. I don't think it's a good idea. And then I was like, you want a picture anyway? And she was like, nah. And I was like, damn. I was like, who wouldn't want a free Polaroid? I don't know. That's just me. But uh, we're continuing to, um, what's it called? The Family Coffee Shop, I think it's called. And then over there, we're going to meet up with Tony Balboa, and hopefully he'll 
want to chat. If not, that's a complete dub. But, you know, uh, we're taking what we could get out here. Because honestly, like I said, my goal is 10. And I really would like to not leave here without 10. So I'll catch y'all up in a sec. So we finally arrived. But Tony looks mad busy. So we're going to come back to him. Um, and I guess we're just looking for our next person, I guess. I don't really see anybody who's looking too down to do anything. It's hard because it's like five minutes. I got to wait for that Polaroid to freaking um, to develop. And that's what sucks. I don't know. This is hard. This is pretty hard. I don't know. I don't know. This place is definitely way more calm. Maybe we could try something in the park. Definitely not as many people as there were here the other day. Um, actually, there's just one girl sitting over here. Let me see if I can bother her. Excuse me. Hi. Are you from here? Uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a YouTuber. Yes. I do, I do a lot of interviews with a whole bunch of people. Yes. Uh, I was wondering if you want to do an interview real quick. It's no, pi uh, it's, it's no video? No, not right. Oh? No, it comes with a free picture. No, sorry. Not okay. right now. Thank okay, you. no problem. Okay. Have, have a good one. Damn. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. She was not down for it. Let's see if other people are down for it. Damn, I was stuttering so much too. I show at least I showed that one. You know what I mean? I showed them. I showed <laughs> I showed her what I do on Instagram. She didn't really look too interested at all though. So she's just smoking. So a lot of people here are just fucking smoking. So um Damn, this is starting to get harder than I thought. The first two were bangers, so I'm not gonna lie. Those were really nice people. I feel like people from here, here, like they're cool with it. And it seems like the rest of the tourists are just not about it. And it's hard because like, I'm trying not to do people who are like eating. Um, I'm trying to find people who are just like chilling, which is hard to do because, you know, oh, it's called Rembrandt. This is Rembrandt Plein. And Plein means square in Dutch. So it's like, this is like the Rembl uh, Rembrandt, Rembrandt uh, Square. So, all right, we're just gonna keep looking. I, I might just go back to Tony's, cause honestly, I don't wanna lower my goal, but I'll tell you what, this shit is difficult. Not getting rejected so much, but not gonna let us get us down. Again, I see people eating. I don't think they're gonna want to uh, talk. So that's difficult. Um, all right, we'll just keep looking. Just keep looking. This is the problem where I get to thinking too much. Come, just like, what if my approach could be better? And I'm like, I'm just alone right now, and I'm just trying to think of it myself. And I'm like, do I say I'm a YouTuber? Do I say I'm a photographer? Maybe I should just say I'm a photographer, and that way they'll know they're getting a photo and not a video. Because if I say YouTuber, they think video. So, yeah. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be like, hey, I'm a photographer. I'm gonna show them what I do. I'm gonna be like, I do interviews. I just want your voice and you'll get a free picture or, uh, does that sound bad? Be like, hey, I'm a photographer. Can I take your Polaroid? It's free. And then I just wanna talk to you for like a couple minutes. Maybe that's the vibe. And then whoever takes that or doesn't take that, that's on them. Cause that's literally just what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do anything OD, so. It's currently 10.29 here. That's the time mark. <sighs> we are keep on going. Are you from Amsterdam? No, I'm not from Amsterdam. Wh where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey, from yeah. uh, oh, USA. USA. Yeah, yeah we're from Germany. Germany. From Germany? I'm going to Germany. Where? Uh, Dortmund. Dortmund, yeah, I'm going. I'm going to see uh, Dortmund versus uh, Bayern. Bayern Munich. Not Munich. Is the uh, Bayern, Bayern Munich is first? The first, right? Yeah. It's uh, is Dortmund versus the third place. Uh, Union Berlin. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There. I know how to be in it. I know how to be yeah, yeah. in it. Look, I'll show you guys. This is what I do. Okay. I interview a whole bunch of uh, artists okay, crazy. and film photographers. And uh, now I'm in Amsterdam. And so what I'm doing is I take a picture. Yeah. I ask you guys a couple questions. You guys get to keep the picture. And I just take the audio. There's no video or nothing. Okay, okay, yeah. You guys cool? Yeah, yeah why not? All right, cool. I'll take the picture real quick. And guys, get together as close as you can. Okay. In three, two, one. Perfect. Just do me a favor. Yeah. Come sit down. Of course, of course. 
Are you smoking? I want to, but I can't. I can't work if I if I. Because then I, I, all the questions I ask are gonna be stupid. <laughs> so check this out. I'll put this in front of you guys. Oh, does it come out of here? Here you go. And then on the top part, this top part, white part, yep. put the date. And on the bottom, put your names, okay? okay? okay, okay. And then I'm just going to ask you guys a couple yeah, but, questions. But, but okay? English is not so good. It is okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. It's okay. So date and name, yes? What, what date is, is today? Today is April 4th. Okay, but you're going to write it uh, down in How, way, however, <laughs> however you want. However you want is fine. Okay, I'm going to do it uh, just like uh, you do However it. you do it at home. So, uh, Okay, how we do it at home is... Uh, yes. Okay, Yeah, then... Uh... I'm gonna just stand in front of you guys so I could get the audio okay. okay. All right? So while you're writing that down, just real quick, tell me your name and where you're from. Uh, I'm Deutsch or... Uh, in English? In English? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm Nidal, Adoch. I'm coming from Germany, near Cologne. Uh, what was the next one? Perfect. Now, that's the, that's the first question. Yes. Your name uh, and where you're from. I'm Nuri. I'm as well uh, from Eschweiler near Aachen in uh, Germany. Uh, and yes, I'm here with my cousin, uh, Amsterdam, for yeah, one day. We're going to sleep here today. And we'll bring, bring you guys for the holidays, just to have fun? Just to have fun. Just have fun. He uh, was getting 80 last week. Uh-huh. Yeah, so... Uh, so what's the best thing about Amsterdam so far? The weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to Amsterdam uh, many times. It's not so far from uh, from us. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very nice here. You have beautiful, uh, very yeah, beautiful city. Nice city, beautiful city. Uh, you have uh, much freedom, and uh, yes, you can smoke some weed uh, everywhere. And uh, yeah. So, what's the first thing that comes into your guys' mind when you hear American? American. The first thing. Honesty, all honesty, it's fine. Whatever uh, it is, it is. American. Um, the army, maybe. The, the army. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm thinking of. Uh, it's okay. Nine, nine eleven. No, it's okay. No, it's just honest. That's honest. That's honest. I love the honest answer. Okay, here's a couple more questions for you guys. Okay, okay. What's the secret to happiness? Mm, friends and family. I would say... Uh, for, uh, for, oh, it's uh, not easy for me to say in English. Uh, What's yeah, I should say... Uh, you can say it in German? To have, I'll translate uh, it. Yeah, to have uh, plans and uh, to have... Uh, yeah, Ziele goals uh, to reach in your life and to, yes to uh, stay strong yes okay. have family and have fun and yeah that's it one last question for you guys you guys have one message to give to the world what is it Ooh, one message mm. have fun yes have fun be nice be happy live in peace live in harmony and yes that's what I uh, would say to the world Hard question for me. <laughs> um, Hard <yeah>. question. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Have your fun, live your life, yes. and don't be too. Uh, be respectful. Hab kein Stockemarsch. Hab kein Stockemarsch. Yeah, have fun. Just have fun. Yes, live your life. You only have one, and uh, yeah, that's what I would like to say. Okay, perfect, guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna. All right, guys, that was the second one. That went really well. They were really cool. Two German kids. Um, and yeah, they were really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm going to walk towards a smoke shop where I talked to Tony before. And maybe I could get a couple of words of wisdom from him. Get the Polaroid. Uh, they, the guys offered me, they're like, oh, you should smoke. And I was like, nah, dude, I'm working right now. Like, I can't, can't be smoking while on the job. I love this too much to be just acting a mess but anyway i'm right in front of tony's let's see if he's free and uh we'll see how it goes all right we passed by tony's again and he looks busy maybe tonight's not the night for that and maybe we don't have to get 10 tonight i think we should just go with the vibes because i might head back 
to a red light and see if I could get some more over there. Because uh, I've only gotten one out here so far. So it's not the worst number, but it's also not the best. So, you know, I don't know why people just don't feel like super approachable. I also feel like this would be way easier in the U.S. Because I feel like also like just like doing this with tourists. Let me know if that's something you guys want. want. I can see myself walking in Hoboken asking people if they want a free Polaroid or whatever. Um, oh, man, this is difficult. But nevertheless, I love doing this for you guys. And personally, I like doing it for myself because I love talking to people. All right, we're going to try walking down this way, see what happens. If anything happens, whatever. Check in back with you guys. My bad, more random thoughts coming into my head. Maybe I should be looking for people who actually look like they're... I already said that before, chilling. Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know, dude. It's, it's difficult. Like, let me know how you guys would approach this. <laughs> I know a lot of people wouldn't do this, but I don't know. I think it's really cool. Also, like, in my mind, I'm also, like, the, there's some people who are really well-dressed. So if I'm like, hey, I'm a photographer, just so want to take a quick picture and interview, and I'll let you go on your way. I think the interview part gets people messed up a lot, too. So I don't know. I honestly don't know. And these streets are pretty empty comparative to red light. Red light looks popping right now. Crazy popping. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And also, if, if I catch them speaking English, bro, I'm automatically going to go to, up to them and be like, yeah. Not like that, but y'all know what I mean. It's difficult. Everybody here is from different countries. What am I going to do? All right. All right. All right. Peace. How y'all liking the all these mini update recordings? I think they're pretty dope. Uh, straight up, getting rejected sucks ass. <laughs> it sucks so much ass that it makes me feel terrible. But uh, I guess it's okay. We're passing by Tony's one more time. Maybe we'll come here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll check in with them. I guess we're going in. I can't smoke, though. My friend, how you doing? Good, man. Good. Oh, look at that. Nice. Yeah, I'm, uh... On school? Yes. I'm going around uh, doing interviews with people. Yeah. I give them free pictures and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How's everything here, man? Good? Oh. I'm chilling. Can I actually uh, take one to go? Yeah, a joint? Yeah, 100%. Oh, uh, he's the dog. No one. Oh. Yeah. You gave me something to relax. I don't think so. Okay. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. And this is going to be yours to keep, okay? So, however you want. Uh, I don't know. Let's make it uh, maybe with... Uh, if you want to take it with him, too? No, maybe with... Uh, I sit here with... Uh, yeah, that's perfect. This deck behind Maradona. This Maradona there, you see? I sit here. I don't know. Here for you. Are you knocking camera? No. I don't know if you're going to with the joint it's okay? Yes, yeah, right. Alright, three, two, one. Woo! Yeah, perfect. Maybe you see me in the back. Then. So what you're gonna do? Yes. Yeah. So what you're gonna do? The date up here, and then your name down here, okay? And then while you're doing that, I'll ask you a couple questions, okay? Okay. Yes. And today is April. Yes, it's the fourth. What time is it? 
We Tony always for to end it. That's a good one. Okay, perfect. So Tony, oh, oh, I already know your name. So where are you originally from? From Italy, born in Milano, but originally from Napoli. So what bring? What brought you to Amsterdam? Uh, for sure, uh, changing in my life and uh, was the place to be because, of course, I smoked joints when I was young and uh, I chose Amsterdam because it was the place to be, for, of course, for, as a ganja smoker. Of course. When was the first time you smoked weed? Can you, do you remember? Yes, I was 12 years old. And what was that experience like? <laughs> I was, I was completely fucked up, brother. Sorry for the <laughs> bad word, but okay. I was like uh, thinking I was in another dimension. Uh, I told to see aliens, uh, but uh, uh, it was just uh, high for the first time, and yeah, I was in love with it. And... What is your favorite thing about Amsterdam? The freedom, mentality, and uh, you can be what you wanna be, and nobody gives a damn about you, and uh, yeah, you can be what you wanna be. You can do your own stuff uh, and uh, people don't keep looking or pointing the finger at you. So freedom, of course, and uh, coffee shops. Yes, the cannabis, the freedom of uh, smoking and, uh, and be a cannabis smoker. What is something that you think people should know about Amsterdam that tourists never come here to find out? Mm, some things to know about Amsterdam, yeah. <laughs> Uh, very difficult to find uh, uh, very good pizza. <laughs> but uh, some someone someone is going the good uh, on the good uh, way. But uh, uh, with no jokes, some things that tourists will don't know. Oh, that's a difficult question, brother. Yeah, uh, it's Amsterdam. It's now with media. It's very difficult to say some things that tourists don't know because actually there are a lot of streamer guys that actually yeah, explain like you of me on YouTube, on Instagram, on all the platforms how Amsterdam looks like and how Amsterdam works and everything it is. And so uh, some things that they don't know that uh, Amsterdam is actually a very very special place because after 21 years I live here. I guarantee you guys that uh, uh, it's still magic as the first day. So something special here that you guys don't know if you don't live here is that you, uh, when you fall in love, like uh, with your women or your men, wherever you like it, uh, when you fall in love with Amsterdam, and after 21 years, I will tell you, you're still in love like the first day. So maybe this one you didn't know. If you don't live here, you don't know. But if you live here, after 21 years, I love Amsterdam as the first time and the first day. It's a very beautiful answer. Two more questions for you, okay, Tony? Yes. What is your secret to being happy? My secret to be happy is uh, first uh, very, it's not very difficult for me because I ask myself every day so it's such kind of question because it's uh, the most difficult things to be happy in this difficult time of uh, life and uh, world and situation and society. And, but for me to be happy is uh, 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 doing what I promised to myself to do. So to be a man uh, of my word and uh, try to uh, make it my brother happy. I have an autistic brother I, that I take care and uh, he's not re really healthy. So making him happy makes me the most happy guy in the world. So this is my first secret to be happy, make it him happy and help him. But uh, without my brother, let's say, talking about me, is of course wake up in the morning and thanks God that I wake up again because either for all the gold and the money in the world, I will never give up one day of my life. So when I wake up, this is already happiness for me. This is my secret. I open my eyes and I am already happy actually because I'm gonna live another day in my life. Yeah. Very well spoken. Yeah. One more question for you, Tony. If you have one message to give to the whole world, what would that message be? To the whole world? Hmm. Yeah, to the whole world. I give message to myself to be a better person and to change myself as first so I can change then other things and other people and help, maybe helping other people. But it's, uh, it's stupid to say sharing is caring because it's like a, a propaganda, you know, but uh, it's true. Love, positivity, uh, helping each other, especially helping other people that they need is what we need more in this world to become better and 
love animals more because animals for me are the best present that God can give to us and uh, people don't respect animals, treat animals as the worst things and animals, they don't need us to live, we need animals to live. But anyway, uh, what I can say to this word, smoke a lot of ganja, maybe you're going to be more happy. <laughs> okay. And for sure, just share more love and think with love and not with hate. So everything is going to be more bright and uh, shining and uh, positive. I appreciate you, Tony. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, brother. Big love, bro. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. That was great, man. Yo, tell me I didn't kill that shit. I killed that. Bam. Bam. What you want? Fucking Tony Bow fucking Boa. That's the man. That's the man. Tony, if you listen to this, you're the fucking man. You're the man. It's okay if you curse, man. I don't... He's so nice, man. He followed me back, man. What a, what a great guy. Guys, if you listen to this right now, number one coffee shop in all of Amsterdam, Tony Balboa's coffee shop. Go there, Balboa family. Go there. Amazing. They're amazing people. All right. I need to figure out where the hell I'm going because this is a mess. All right, guys, we ran into a problem. Uh, the last person, Tony, I accidentally left my Sharpie there with him. Oh, unless this is my Sharpie. Nope, this is not a Sharpie. It is another thing that is not a Sharpie. <laughs> anyway, um, maybe that is not the most important thing. I just think it's cool. As long as I get the picture, and maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put in what it is after. But, uh, yeah. I guess we're just gonna keep on going. And, uh, as soon as we get to red light, we'll see if we could get an interview. And if we can't tonight, then tomorrow night's the last night. And, uh, we'll kind of play it up to, you know, the universe. But that last interview I did with Tony, man, was incredible. So, I'll catch y'all guys in a few when I, uh, reach my destination. I didn't record that last interaction, but I just got rejected as fuck from this girl in one of the windows. She was very nice about it, though. I was telling her what I do. I showed her. I was very polite about it. No fucking way! Hell yeah, bro! Dude, fellas, what's good, yo? Good, yo, fellas. This is what I'm doing right now. What you doing here? I'm you some bitches, right? I'm working. Oh, you you filming that bitches? So, I don't, I don't did, did, I, did I ever follow you guys on Instagram or anything? I don't think so. No. Dude, this is great because I'm actually in the middle of recording right now. So, I'm going around to people. Mm -hmm. I take their picture on the Polaroid for free. Yeah. And then I give them a quick interview. You guys want to do it? I don't know about no, that. No video. No video. Only, only, only uh, voice. And if you don't want me to post the picture, I won't post the picture. It's yours. To what keep. do you want to interview me about that? Right. It'll just be whatever I ask. It's nothing bad. Nothing bad. Very friendly. There's not like some, you know, like CIA shit. Look, I'll show you what I do. All right. I'll show you what I do. I gotta stay anonymous, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine, you can stay anonymous. I'll blur out your face. I'll blur out your face and I'll, and I'll change. I'm a sound engineer. So this is what I do. I do different interviews with different artists and mm -hmm. musicians, priests, people around the world from LA, um, San, uh, San Francisco, I went to Miami, I went to Austin, Texas, and now I'm here. And then the people who I just did it with... Why are you just going randomly to some people? Yes, this is exactly what I do. So, these people from Amsterdam, they just did the interview before. Mm -hmm. This is a guy from Ukraine who I saw in the red light district, and he was just chilling, and he... Beautiful, beautiful message. All right. These are two German guys I found in the front of a coffee shop, and they were smoking. <laughs> I did an interview with them. And then uh, this guy, I don't know if you know him, but he's Tony Balboa. He is the owner of Balboa's uh, coffee shop, mm -hmm. best coffee shop in all of Amsterdam. And I did one with him. You sure it's about And then I have, look, I have one more Polaroid. I think Destiny made it for you guys. <laughs> what do you oh. think? All right, that's it, right? 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 And you get to keep the picture, it's free. Let's do it. Awesome. All right, let me take a picture of you guys real quick. Actually, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come Stand right here. You got your knife to stab me? All right. You guys ready? Get, get close together. Put 
your beanie up, bro. We gotta look the same. Put it up. Yeah, we're gonna look the same. Perfect, bro. perfect. And you guys, picture you guys get to keep forever too. So, all right. All right. So get really close. I right, in three, two, one. Perfect. Cool. This is so cool. This is my life. I'm so glad I ran into you guys, dude. Yeah, I can't I just, believe it. You know, I just I ran into uh, uh, like another guy mm -hmm. that was like sim similar to you. I was like. Is that you guy? <laughs> no, but he, he was from California as well. So. Oh, word, word, word. I'm from New Jersey, so. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So this is going to be developing. You could hold on to this. Mm -hmm. I would um, I would have you sign it, mm -hmm. but Tony took my uh, Sharpie on accident. <laughs> so um, I don't have anything to sign it with. It's all right. Uh, okay, guys, so you ready to just hop right into it? Sure. All right. Gonna... So first question is, what is your name and where are you from? My name is Michael, and I'm from Switzerland. My name is Björn. I'm from Norway. Perfect, perfect, guys. What brings you guys to Amsterdam tonight? Well, tonight, we have to be honest, we're in the red light district. But we're not here for, for the ladies, obviously. Mm -hmm. We're here for the nice coffee shops, for some uh, nice people to meet in the coffee shops and just uh, have a little bit of fun, right? And how are you, my friend? Same thing? Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of questions that I've been asking everybody is what's the best thing about Amsterdam that you guys have experienced so far? Well, f for me, it would be the, the welcoming people that we met here. Because everywhere you go, it might be just a coffee shop, a restaurant or whatever, a bar. The people here are very friendly, uh, especially for tourists, I guess. I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but... Um, <laughs> they were really friendly to me, and also I really like the the city itself. It's like it it has like a really good touch to it. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a like like old slash modern touch, which I really like. And yeah, that's that's probably it for me. Yeah. And so, if you can in English, you could do it in your language too. If you can't, I'm <laughs> 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 jetzt auf Deutsch spreche. Because <laughs> I, 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 I could translate. I could translate. Uh, oh. No, it's okay. Um, uh, the city and uh, people, it's so fantastic here. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple more questions, guys, while we wait for the Polaroid to develop. What is your secret to happiness? For me, it's just don't look back, right? There's going to be things in your life that will not be good. Bad things are going to happen to every one of us. We don't know when they're going to happen. So, you have to just wake up every day. Be positive, smile, because you know the bad day is gonna come, and once they're coming, you have to be prepared. And until then, just have a smile on your face and enjoy life. That's it. I live, I live. This is it. This is it. So, I got one more question for you guys. If you have one message to give to the world, what would the message be? Um, live the moment, I would say. Don't. Don't just think, always think about the future. Live in the present and don't look back. I say it in German, uh, Liebe dein Leben, ob es der letzte wäre. Perfect. All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, guys, plain and simple, <laughs> Tony Balboa wins podcast of the night because that was wild. These last two guys, funny enough, little story behind them, um... I met them at the Heineken experience. It was three of them, and it wasn't just that tall dude and the shorter guy. Shorter guy obviously knows a little bit more English, and he was really dope, but, like, man, like, what are the odds? Like, you know, I, ra I run into him, and they're here in, in red light. Um, it was really cool. It was actually really cool. So now uh, I think we're just going to end the night, maybe go to Febo. Uh, I don't know if it's called Febo or Febo, but uh, we're going to go there, grab um, a little bit of food, and, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a night. I think we're just gonna tonight's the last night where uh, I, I I wanted to make sure that I, I could just work tonight and be, you know, um, coherent for all of this. And I've been really like wanting to do. I've taken a lot of pictures, a lot of videos for content, but I'm like, where are the people at? You know. So I guess right now I'll go into Febo and I'll get an Uber from Red Light and I will go home and I will get you guys up in the Uber. Okay. All right, guys, night is winding down. Very proud of myself, I'm not gonna hold you. Like, I think everything that was meant to happen, was meant to happen. Sorry I couldn't get you guys a red light. 
worker tonight. I honestly just don't think it was meant to be. Um, if there's one thing that I've heard from a lot of people is that, yes, it's sketchy. Where my thoughts land on at the end of the night or whatever is that I think all work, as long as it's done safe and if there's a demand and, you know, people are willing and there's nothing sketchy going behind, is worth it, you know? But do I necessarily agree with everything that's happening? Oh, no. Like I said, it's hard to think that, you know, no harm is coming from this, but it's also hard to think that harm is coming to this. There's a lot of sketchy people here who decide to do sketchy things, and that's just how it works. Um, and unfortunately, I think the red light like attracts a lot of it. And I could get where the Dutch are like, you know, we want to revitalize this area and stop people coming here from doing that. And I get that. But also, putting all these ladies into one building, I don't know if that makes anything better, you know? Is it a fix the culture thing? Or is it like, you know, just people being people, tourists being tourists? That's a hard, that's a hard discussion. And I'd love it if you guys let me know down below what you guys think. But I'm gonna be walking a little bit more and then calling my Uber. So I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. All right, goodbye. So tonight's the last night in Amsterdam. I believe I'm in the square. It's very, uh, it's a square that's right in front of the Koningin. Uh, also right in front of Madame Tussauds. It's like the big square has the, I don't want to say phallic shaped obelisk, but yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think this might be how we close out the pod guys. Um, I was gonna go out for more Polaroids tonight, but I don't know. As of what I'm thinking right now, I think I'm good. So next day after that, and I feel like I got a couple of good, uh, you know, pieces of content from the people I interviewed. I think it went well. I left my Sharpie with uh, Tony. <laughs> so hopefully maybe I could get that back. If I get it back, then maybe I'll do it. But guy in saxophone's killing it right now. But also a guy in like a Grim Reaper outfit that's smoking a blunt. He's not smoking a blunt, but it's a fake blunt that he's smoking, so. And uh, I'm just eating some of these uh, fries that are covered in uh, mayo. I was kind of just hungry and I couldn't find any really great alternatives. I'm not going to lie, the food here is kind of disappointing, but um, I have pretty high standards for food. So, I mean, they're pretty standard food here. So, anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed the AO Show podcast up until this point. Um, hopefully I'll get to travel more and do more of these that are a little bit more well-planned. Um, in the future, I would like to stay at places for like a month at a time to interview people. Because uh, if you think about it, I get one podcast a week uh, for place for like, you know, people back at home. And, um, you know, I think staying a month, at least getting four podcasts in, that would be great. And just get the people and, I don't know, get a lot of content from the people. But... I think I'm just gonna stand in this square until uh, I finish my fries and then uh, I'll probably head to one of those little cruises in the canal and maybe that will call it a night, I don't know. Uh, but guys, this has been Beto. I wanna thank you guys so much for uh, listening in and uh, trying this out because it's been different. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Amsterdam, I love you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure being here in your city and getting to know the wonderful people. And um, I hope to be back here sometime soon. But it's goodbye for now. <laughs> Y'all already know the business. Ayo Chill Podcast, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Wherever you find your podcast, you can find us. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It lets me know that you guys uh, enjoy what I do. And as the clock is ringing, we sign out. Much love always. This has been Ayo Chill.